talk, the um, uh, title of uh, this weekend was not chosen by me, <laughs> so I actually am not, <laughs> um, I'm not promising anything. <laughs> um, 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 but, um, um, however, there is a book by um, His Holiness Dindu Muruji called uh, Buddha Without Meditation. Um, but um, uh, in uh, some respects, uh, uh, you know, uh, this um, um, uh, title for the course is uh, nonetheless correct in so far as um, uh, the uh, proper method of Mahamudra meditation is said to be um, uh, uh, effortless. You see? Uh, because um, uh, when we're meditating, uh, usually uh, uh, we are uh, counseled to uh, apply ourselves, to uh, really uh, exert ourselves and m make the effort. Because I don't write anything down, you know, I have to think, <laughs> I have to think what I'm going to say um, next. So um, uh, anyway, I think um, uh, we will um, just uh, discuss uh, the notion of self-liberation, we'll begin with that. <coughs> because that's the key, as, uh, as we've been saying. You know, the, uh, it's the key to, um, it is the key to um, um, Mahamudra practice, uh, the notion of self-liberation. And it's also the key <coughs> uh, concept um, uh, in uh, Dzogchen teachings as well. Uh, and um, uh, self-liberation, as I said, means uh, 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 that uh, we rely less on antidotes. Uh, uh, basically, uh, not relying too much on antidotes uh, means that uh, one is... Um, uh, that's what means, what, that is what is meant by saying self-liberation. The notion of uh, self-liberation, or rangdo, is uh, also discussed uh, in relation to three other types of um, uh, liberations that are similar to self-liberation. And uh, so um, these four, four different types of uh, um, uh, what you might call self-liberations, or uh, it is difficult to um, translate, you know, but it means um, Rangdo is just a, uh, Rangdo is one of the ways in which, in which, our defilements get uh, self-liberated, according to Mahamudra and Dzogchen teachings, uh, and um, and the um, uh, and so, self-liberation uh, is connected to uh, uh, Yedo. Rangdo is uh, uh, connected to what is called Yedo. Yedo means liberation 
into the innate, you know, the innate state. Liberation into the innate state. And then there's the idea of jeratol. Jeratol, jeratol means uh, liberation into the naked state. And, um, uh, and then there's the uh, um, uh, notion of what is called tatrol. Uh, tatrol means uh, like um, uh, liberation of completion uh, uh, into the complete state. Liberation into the complete state. These are sort of technical um, uh, expressions, but uh, I will just uh, give a, a brief uh, sort of uh, description of each because I think it is good to uh, put the notion of Rangdo uh, in context. But, uh, uh, but Rangdo or self liberation is the uh, uh, key, and the, other, the others are sort of related concepts. Okay? Um, <coughs> So, without complicating it too much, I will try to uh, explain it to you uh, sort of uh, briefly in a more simplified way. Um, <coughs> now, um, liberation into the innate state um, uh, uh, means uh, 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 that uh, you know, our innate state is the ground of being. Or intrinsic uh, awareness uh, that is um, completely free of defilements. So, for example, when we are meditating, then discursive thoughts arise. Now, the discursive thoughts themselves are a product of uh, defilements, but the um, uh, the innate state itself is not defiled. So, when a discursive thought arises. It dissipates, it dissipates, and uh, it um, um, disperses into the uh, innate state. So thereby, the discursive thought is then liberated. So this is called uh, uh, liberation into the innate state. And uh, liberation into the um, uh, naked, uh, uh, into nakedness, um, what this means is that um, uh, in terms of uh, uh, intrinsic awareness, you know, uh, um, uh, intrinsic awareness is called Rangjung Ripa. Uh, Rangjung Ripa, Rangjung literally means uh, uh, born of itself awareness, which basically means it's not dependent upon causes and conditions. It's not brought about by uh, some existing causes and conditions, it's self-existing. Uh, and uh, literally it means uh, born of itself. Now, um, in terms of our uh, deluded mind, uh, both Dzogchen and uh, Mahamudra teachings speak about a, a collection of eight types of consciousness. So we have uh, five sense consciousness, uh, visual consciousness, audio consciousness, nasal consciousness, and so on. And uh, then we have sixth consciousness, which is, uh, um, which is what we normally refer to as consciousness, uh, the one that recognizes you know, our visual objects, audio objects, and so on. And then there's what is called uh, um, um, uh, uh, what, I'm trying to find a better word. Sometimes it's translated as uh, egocentric mentation, but uh, egoic, uh, egoic mind, we might call it egoic mind, uh, which basically means when we get, gather information through our senses and it's processed by the consciousness, you know, our consciousness, then there's always a, a sort of an element of self-referential involved. You know, everything is perceived uh, in, uh, from the point of view of the self. And so thereby, uh, whatever is processed becomes uh, mixed with the uh, individuals 
what you might call uh, individual's personal psychic history. So, uh, so that particular individual's uh, emotional past, uh, this, that individual's uh, feelings, attitudes, beliefs, all of these things uh, come into play. Uh, so thereby, um, everything is then sort of uh, taken on board as, uh, you know, as one's own experiences. So this is called Igwe Mind. That is the seventh. And the eighth is Storehouse Consciousness, which we uh, spoke about um, <clears throat> uh, yesterday. Uh, so everything that, what, that has been processed and all the uh, sort of um, experiences that uh, the individual has then is retained in the storehouse consciousness. So that's the eighth consciousness. Now, um, from this then develops what in Buddhism is called dualistic uh, uh, fixation, dualistic notions of subject and object, perceiver and perceived. So uh, uh, the, the self, and in other words, self and other. You know. uh, um, there's the self, and then whatever is not the self is the other. And from this duality arises all manner of delusory mental states. So, so this is how uh, delusions are uh, created or manufactured uh, uh, in terms of, uh, in, in relation to uh, uh, Buddhist uh, understanding of how the mechanism works, you know, how the samsaric mind operates. Now, uh, general or the liberation <coughs> into nakedness means uh, these experiences, of course, come up you know, uh, in meditation. But as soon as they arise, then uh, um, um, uh, when they <coughs> arise, they do not uh, uh, affect the uh, uh, state of self-existing awareness. So whatever dualistic perceptions that arise become self-liberated into that state of uh, nakedness. Nakedness simply means free of dualistic uh, thoughts, dualistic notions. You know? uh, every time when uh, that notion, uh, that uh, expression, that nakedness is used, it means denuded, denuded of dualistic concepts, dualistic notions. Thank you.